Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you are doing fine. We are going to learn something very interesting today. Multipass from Canonical. Yes, this is something very interesting which will help you and which will enable you in launching Ubuntu Instant. Ubuntu Instant. I reiterated. You can launch Ubuntu Instant VM with a single command. This is very easy, very powerful and you can run, launch multiple virtual machines and you can configure them with ease. Well, I'll explain you the process. Normally what we will do is we will have the operating system first ready and then we will install something like VMware or Oracle VM or something like that we will install some tools which can enable us to go ahead further will be installed and then over and above that we install Ubuntu with the ISO image. Now if I have one Ubuntu ISO image for 18.04 and if I have to go ahead with another Ubuntu instance which is 20.04 I need to redo the entire process and it takes a little bit of time. So to avoid this uh, point of spending time with respect to creating multiple instances of Ubuntu, they have come up with something excellent and which is called as Ubuntu Multipass. This is very easier. Multipass will avoid time delay. You can really do it with ease. And you can do the Multipass with, you can go ahead with the Multipass with Linux, with Windows and with Mac OS. I have a Windows machine right now with me. Windows 10 is there with me. So we are going to go ahead with the Windows 10 process. I'll explain you this step by step and you can try it out in your machine. Well, I click on Windows and you need to download the Multipass for Windows. And please make a note of this. You need to have Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education version. Anything other than this, you will have a problem with respect to using this and you need to go ahead with installation of Oracle uh, VirtualBox as well in parallel. I'll explain you what it is. You need Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education version. The basic version will not support you with something which I'll explain you quickly whenever I have, uh, when I, whenever I reach that particular point in time. Well, we are going to learn how do we go ahead and install this and you can see that here. I have clicked Windows and you can download Multipass for Windows. It takes few minutes maximum. Uh, so you get it, it's a very small file. The moment I click it, it gives me notice, I accept it. Multipass is already installed. Do you want to uninstall the old version before installing the new one? I give yes because I want to do it from the beginning for you. So I'm uninstalling it first and then we will do a, a reinstallation process. So that it will be very easy for you to understand how do we go ahead with the process. Now it is complete. Now we are going to install it. So I am clicking next and I agree to the terms and conditions. Please see this point. If you have the version of Windows which I explained to you, you do not have home edition. In that case, you can go ahead with Microsoft Hyper-V. Uh, this is not applicable for the people who have home edition. Windows Home 10 will not support this option. For them, you must have already installed Oracle VM Virtual Box. Remember, this step is very, very important. Since I have a version which is not home version, I go ahead with Microsoft Hyper-V, which is a recommended option. Now I click next and add multipass to the current user's path. It is recommended, so I select it. And then I give the path as per the specification which is enabled by them. And please see how much is the available space, how much is uh, the space required. And I click install. It takes really few seconds for you to get the complete process done. And it's going to be the easier usage. The world of usage is really, really very simple. Now once it is done, you can access, you can use the multipass in multiple ways. I'm going to show you that right now. Now the multipass is ready. How do you enable it? How do you test it? You can see that I have got the multipass launched here. So I'm clicking it right now. So multipass is up and running. So you can see that here you have this. So the multipass is available. So it is installed. Now the next one is, sir, how do you access all this? I have multiple methods available to access the multipass. It's, it's very easy to access. Now I'm going to do it with, you can do it with say the terminal. So this is available in Microsoft store. You can download it from Microsoft Store, this is available. Or you can access it from PowerShell. So we have got PowerShell available. So this can be used for accessing and for getting all these things done. Or you can go with CMD option, which I'm not very comfortable with, so I'm leaving this option. You can choose any one of these two, but one thing that I would like to tell you is the Windows PowerShell, I mean, uh, through this terminal option, this is available in Microsoft Store. Let me show you that as well. Microsoft Store, you can just type store. I'm sorry, it's a spelling mistake. Store when you type, you get the Microsoft Store content and there you can search for the terminal and once the terminal is available, download it and keep it, yourself, keep it ready. So here the access becomes much more easier for you. That's the point that I'm trying to convey. So now if you see this, here I can type terminal and things are all available for us. Terminal I need to type. 
you can see that the windows terminal it's already installed just go ahead and install it it's going to take not not more than like two minutes for you to complete it now one other thing that i would like to tell you is please launch everything with administrator privileges so for example i am using the terminal here and i now run it as an administrator because at times you get error message because of this you have to have the privileges for you to go ahead and run it well what's the first step now now we have to launch the multipass how do i do it sir very simple the commands are really really very simple multi pass launch when you do that it takes few minutes for the first time but next time uh, and i mean after installation it's going to be after launching it it's going to be very very easy for you you can see that the multi pass the command will give you an i mean cut 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 once the launching is done you also get a name for this instance the name for the instance is given by the uh, multi pass itself they generate the name and they give you so uh, you can generate as you can launch as many sessions as you want as many instances as you want and each instance would be named in a, a different way and the names are generated by multi pass itself remember it and the most important point is you can also rename it the way you want it, it is not that you need to use only the names which are suggested by them we can rename it also now what is the first step that we are going to do let it get installed let it get up and running and then i will show you how do we retrieve how do we understand the list of commands that are available with the multi pass and then i will go ahead with how do you interact with the vms we have got two options for that and i will explain you both and then we will go ahead playing around with the multi pass with some simple options it, all these are easy all these are doable and you can try it out in your machine with these so you can see that it's retrieving image right now it may take a little bit of time but that's okay after this setting up it will be very very easy for you you can do wonders now it's all done the verifying image is happening so the multi pass will enable you to get ubuntu instances available for you in seconds and now the name of the uh, instance that i have got here that is presented here flamboyant tarantula that's the name that the system has given so this is the name of the vm ubuntu vm that we have got in hand and this is interesting isn't it so the names will be given by the machine itself by multi pass itself and once the initialization is all complete it will be very easy for us to go ahead with and to run the systems okay yeah now uh, let's wait for it to be launched it's all ready now the launching is done so what is the next thing we need to go ahead with checking the options multi pass this just typing the command multi pass will help you in understanding what are all the available commands what are all the available options here for you to try out you can start you can stop you can delete an instance you can suspend an instance you can transfer file from one to another all these are possible now we will see some command multi pass version when i type that you will get the multi pass version available with you now what i'm going to do multi pass list this will list the available vms you can see that i launched my vm just like that so it is ubuntu 20.04 lts available here and the status of it is running so we have got one vm with ubuntu as the operating system there one instance of the ubuntu is available with us right now and it is going to be very easy for you so you have launched it isn't it it's very easy and you can test it out and the name again i'm telling you the name of the vm is auto generated you can change it if you want well the next step that you need to understand is there are two options available for us to interact with or for us to go ahead and use the vms the first one is the exec exec option so uh, how do you find it out very simple when you type multi pass you can see that here there is a command available called as exec this command will help you in running a command on the instance so i have got ubuntu instances available my instance name i have already shown you so the instance you can use you can use exec command to run any command on this instance so whatever vm we are having right now so we can run that there so how do we test it i'm going to test it right now it's going to be very simple thing uh, first we need to understand what is the name of our vm so let me test it again multi pass list this will give me the name of the vm this is my vm's name the instance name okay so now what do we do we are going to use the command exec multi pass uh exec exec and i am using this copy paste it is done and what i'm going to do am i we uh, can we run the commands here like just like running it in ubuntu yes sudo apt 
uh, I'm going to do an update. That's all. You could see that it's all happening, right? So I'm able to run a command easily in the instance with exeasy option. So we can we can test one more thing also. So I'm going to show uh, what is the version of the Ubuntu that we have uh, in our system right now. Let me clear the screen. So uh, same command. Um, we can use the name of the uh, VM also. So I have deleted it anyways. We'll see it again. Multipass list. So this gives you names and all the details, the state, everything is given. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to check if we have the right version of the Ubuntu or we can understand which version of the Ubuntu we have. Multipass exez. I need this name to be available here. It's given. So the command is cat and space etc slash lsb hyphen release this will tell you the version of ubuntu what you are having i have a 20.04 so that is very clearly available so we have got the version checked right now well is there any other way that i can launch or any other way that i can use my uh, multipass in a better way can i interact cut 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 is there any other way we can interact with the vm yes there is one simplest way that you have so I'm going to use that right now. That is through the shell. Yes, we are going to launch the shell. How do we do it? Very simple. Multipass the command remains the same. Multipass and shell. So what is the name of our instance? The name of our instance is uh, I need to copy this flamboyant tarantula. So I copied it and that's all. You can see that I have got my shell available with me. This is just like your Ubuntu being available in front of you and this is very very simple yes this is very easy and what we have done here we have launched the cell and the name of the user is ubuntu and please understand that this is all generated automatically by multipass and we are going to type a command right now to see if things are working fine sudo apt update now you can see that it did not even ask me for the password the sudo though i used it it did not ask me for the password so it's it's not required that's the best part of it we are not asked to do many of the stuff which we normally do when we go ahead with other ways of doing it so this is very very comfortable for you guys you can try it out now what am i going to do i am going to now copy a file from vm to windows and vice versa can also be done so what are we going to do first let me create a file with the windows then i will show you how do we get the file here i am going to get the file here right away for you and with that, we will be able to show you how do we use it. But further to, further to be done, I need to show you what is the command that we have. Multipass uh, is the option. And you can see that there is a command available called as transfer. So I'm going to use the command transfer, which will help me in transferring files between the host and the instances. It is time for us to go ahead and understand how do we transfer a file from the uh, local system. I mean, my Windows machine to my uh, virtual machine. Can we do it? I am going to transfer the file from my Windows machine to my uh, uh, VM. So we are going to do that. How do we do that? Very simple. We have got a command available called as transfer. This transfer helps you in transferring files between the uh, Windows machine and your instances, Ubuntu instances, whatever we have. The current instance what we have in hand is called as uh, the name of the instance, whatever we have is available here, flamboyant tarantula. So we are going to transfer the file from my Windows machine to the flamboyant tarantula easily. So we are going to see that right now. Before that, I have created a file here. You can see that this is a demo file and it is available in the path C colon users Sriram. It is available here. Now what are we going to do? We are going to send this file to the system. I mean the flamboyant tarantula easily. The command is available and the command is nothing but multipass transfer. We are going to do that. Let me go ahead and let me type the command multipass transfer. Uh, so what do we do? We need to give the path. The path is available here. Uh, within double quotes, I need to specify the path and the name of the file is demo.txt. So this is the name of the file. The source is given. Now what is the name of our uh, uh, instance? The name of our instance is to be remembered. I forgot it. So I am going to do a, a multipass list so that I get the name listed and I can use it in the command easily and flawlessly. So now here, what is the name? This is the name of the instance. So I have put it here. Now what am I going to do? Very simple. I am going to copy this content into my home Ubuntu 
and I need to name the file. So we are going to name the file as demo.txt only. That's all. The moment you do it, it is done. So I have copied the content from my local machine, from my Windows machine into Flamboyant Tarantula, which is nothing but the Ubuntu instance which I am running here. Now if you see that, the file demo.txt should be available here. It is available here. Let me see what is the content of this file. This is a demo file is the content. Let me close this. Let me see what is the content here. Demo.txt. This is a demo file. That's all. So what we have done, very simple. We have created Ubuntu instances, Ubuntu VMs with ease with this multipass. I've explained you how to set it up uh, and you can use two ways of it. If you have a Windows edition, which is not a home edition, but otherwise you can go ahead with using it by default and you can use the uh, options which are available by default. Otherwise, you need to install the Oracle VM box. But it's, it's all very easy. Give it a try. If you have any questions, you can ask me anytime. I'll be very happy to help you. Try it out. Uh, more things are coming on the way. I'll try to explain all these commands and it will be very easy for you. Now, one thing I, I would like to convey before I close it up. So, uh, multi-pass list. Now, you can see that this is running. This is in the running state. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop it. Multi-pass stop. Uh, I will have to copy this. It is stopping this. So, we will see if it is updated. So, stopped is available. Now, I'm going to delete it. We can delete it easily, right? So I'm going to do a delete option. Now it is deleted. If I list it, you can see that the status is deleted. So it is as simple as that. You are creating Ubuntu instances just like that. That's so very easy. So we have used shell. We have used options which are very clearly available with us. Try it out and in case you have any questions, you can always let me know. I'll be very happy to help you. Thank you very much for following my channel and content. I'll come back to you with more content on the same thing in the near future. If you like the channel and the content, give thumbs up like and then also share.